So we're going to start with the overview of the cap table that we're going to be building. So here it is. Looks pretty intense at first, and it is. It's actually overly complicated for most startup companies. But what it does is it, act, it goes over every possible scenario of common terms that you'll find in a term sheet. And it allows them to all interact together and see how they affect each other moving forward. The real beauty of this is that it allows you to understand that interaction between different terms and shows you how they affect you moving forward. So when we start off, we'll go through things like founders, how they list out, different shares, how many shares they receive in the beginning. And this is actually the founding team. This is up to you. How do you split your shares amongst the founding team before you receive any sort of investment? Goes over convertible debt. Series seed and so on. We'll look at different share price calculations, liquidation preference multiples, anti-dilution calculations, how that affects conversion prices, methods of convertible note share issuances, how, how to calculate those, valuation caps on liquidation preferences, effective liquidation preferences because most convertible notes actually have a higher effective liquidation preference than the shares in the round in which they were issued. You will we'll see how that works and you'll understand that. We can look at liquidation models, how the waterfall flows from the most recent investment. Startup investments generally follow the principle of last money in, first money out. And that's the way this waterfall works. It allows you to put in different prices at which you would actually sell the company. And then how your investors benefit, how you benefit, and then directly each entity, how they benefit. Give some liquidation preference examples, ownership versus value, how whenever you invest $200,000 but you get diluted over time, does that really hurt you or does that help you? We'll see here. And then just basic, more in detail, anti-dilution calculations. So this will take a little while. It'll take a little bit of time commitment on your part, but it will not hurt you, I guarantee you. It'll only benefit you to understand how these work It'll make you a better investor. It'll make you, make you a better founder. It'll make you a better attorney or startup incubator head or anything that you may be, whatever your role is, you'll be better at it by understanding everything that comes along with this course.